Hey, how you doing? Playing around with your pigeons. My name is John Skippy Limcool. Welcome. This is another new Tuesday Tips. Uh, I've been requested by a number of customers in the last couple of weeks to cover the blue arpeggiator. And so in this video, I'm going to explain how the arpeggiator works, how to set it up for a couple of different modes that it can do really well, and how to read our existing patches so you can look at this and go, oh, so there's five different MIDI effects. Oh. Look over here, see where it says M1, 2, 3, 4, 5? That correlates to the five MIDI effects. This is where you assign them, and you can see two of them, the bass, there's two parts that are assigned to the same MIDI effect for this bass pattern. So I can... Oh. Let's have this one jump up in octaves. So it's really easy to play with and, and mess things up. If I want to go over here to the art pattern, uh, we have eight real-time knobs and I've just got a machine jam over here that's letting me play with parameters inside of Unify. It's very, very fun. So if you don't have something with real-time faders, you should get even a little Korg Nano Control or something like that. It's, it's really cool. A lot of the patches over here there's all sorts of things assigned to more than just your modulation wheel. So just, just FYI. But I want to show you that that part right here. This is right here, M3. That means if you look up here at M3 and double click this ARP, this is the ARP pattern that's being played. And this is one where the scale step is important. If I wanted to, I could reset this by hitting initialize here. And then I can make so I play chords. And instead of playing chords, instead of just playing notes. Still got that chord, but you can go over here to key select. And I can actually have a play different intervals of the chord that I'm playing. And then you can go over here to the step types. And I can say chord. So I can have it play single line melodies and chords. It's, it's very fun to mess stuff up. And then when you've got something that you like, save it as your own thing and use that to write a song. So you get the idea. Uh, it's, it's very fun. We're going to start from scratch in a minute. I'm going to show you a couple other examples. If you go here to like some of the BPM pads, here's where there's a nice big pad. But there's a couple parts, M1 and M2 are set to these two layers. So if you just solo these, right? And then the other two layers, this one here, Two and four are um, pad. And you combine them together and you get something pretty cool. Um, chord dances, these are really, really fun. This is kind of this is kind of like, okay, let's see if you can do this with your DAW. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't. This is one MIDI effect that is playing out and spitting out parts at different velocities, right? And check this out. Each of the different velocities are key window to each of these layers. So I have five or six different synthesized layers of different samples and synths and all sorts of things happening. And then by playing a chord, 
it's playing and alternating between these different level layers based on velocity. So I can I can go up here. I can change the velocities. Right? I can have some do chords. Others do different melodies. That's just super, super crazy power from a single ARP controlling six different layers. There's another one that I added that I got to show you real quick, and that's the amazing knob switcher. This is where you're using the mod wheel or this knob right here where you can... So you could set up all of these to be different patches from all of your different plugins that you have in your computer system that you're currently working with. And if I go right here and set this up, watch these velocities. They're changing. And they're doing that because I assigned each one of these uh, to be for each of the velocity segments. If you go over here and you click to MIDI Blue Arp, you can go to the Blue Arp and here's all the velocities for all 64 steps. So if you want, you can program like crazy for these knobs to interact, change durations, octaves for up to 64 steps. It's pretty crazy. And I only set it up for the first 16. So if you make an art bigger than 16 steps, it can go up to 64 steps. Then you need to add your own to, to program it out. Okay. So it's crazy power in what you can do with the blue ARP inside of Unify. I want to point out real quickly, Oleg is a developer that created Blue Arp. And to say, yes, put it into Unify. If, if you like Blue Arp and you want Oleg to keep developing Blue Arp, because there's some things that he could do that it's not doing yet. Drum patterns, stuff like that would be really cool. Hit the donate button. Send him a little PayPal donation just to say, keep working on Blue Arp because it's, it's, it's really cool what he's doing. If you don't own Unify and you want to get more information, come to the PluginGuru.com website. I have 80 libraries for all sorts of different software plugins, Omnisphere and Serum and Break Tweaker and stuff like that. But this is my first retail plugin. Um, there's a demo version you can download and try before you buy it, as well as the full version. Okay, so let's initialize and I'm going to go over to layer. Let's add an empty MIDI layer. So I want to point out and talk about something. Right here is where you click to add MIDI effects. And as you can see, it doesn't show any MIDI effects. That's because plugins don't have the ability to say, this is a MIDI effect, this is an instrument. They get grouped into the same thing. So if you've gone to the plugin page and if you've scanned your plugins, you said update to your VST, your audio units, whatever format you use, go over here to subsets over here to MIDI effects, click all my MIDI effects. I set that up for you and then search by names or how would you need to do. If you want to shorten this list, you can say VST slash instrument and that will list just instruments, your synthesizer plugins. Inside of here, you'll find that there's all these my MIDI effects that I have bought so far. And so you would just select each one of these, go down the list, just for example, Blue Arp, and then go where hold down command or alt. There's some modifier key, so you can select multiples, sit add to select, and then hit save. And by doing that, now you have, so you can see all my mini effects. Here's blue arp, Cthulhu's here, stuff like that. Uh, we're just gonna play with blue arp right now. Um, but check this out. So a couple things in this interface, uh, you can change the size of it under menu. So you can go GUI size, 100%, if it's a little too small. I think 125 works pretty nice. You can also change to other skins. So there's all sorts of different skins if you wanna have it be like a studio black look or, um, you know, green. <laughs> That's kinda of hard to read. So I'm just gonna go back to the default skin. But you can change to different skins if you like. So those are some settings. Now, it's currently, I've, I've had an email from a number of people that have gone, I have, added a MIDI effect and I have a layer. Let's say that we go over to Unify to Guru Sampler and let's have this be replaced 
with something like maybe some sort of nice little plucky synth, right? So. But Blue Arp is it's lighting up, but I don't hear it. Why don't I hear it? Well, that's because you haven't connected it. You have to tell Unify what layer is assigned to what MIDI effect because we can have unlimited numbers of MIDI effects and unlimited layers, so you have to connect them. So right here where it says in, right here, and let's say I'm going to say there's going to be a happy synthy RP, right? By doing that, when I click on in, it now says happy synthy RP for this layer for, for MIDI effects. So I know once I get a big, I got a kick and I have a hi-hat and I have the other things, you'll want to see in that list so you can make sure you got the right part to the right layer, okay? By doing that, hey, it works. Isn't that exciting? So what it's doing is this. It's playing whatever note I play. Let's get the key so you can show it. If I play a chord, it's not doing anything. That's because this is set right now. If we go to key select, we can actually choose which of the up to five notes of an arpeggiator. So I'm going to play five notes. Oh, and notice Blue Arp doesn't listen to sustain. I hold down the sustain pedal. It doesn't sustain. Um, I like to work where it sustains. So go over here go to all my MIDI effects and built in we have a MIDI filter. You're seeing a couple other extra MIDI effects, ignore those. <laughs> and say emulate. And then put this by oh, come back here by clicking and dragging in front of Blue Arp. I now I have sustain. So by adding the MIDI filter to emulate sustain this is the new look and the new updated version that's coming out this week of the MIDI filter. So you can filter out specific controller numbers. If you don't want modulation wheel, then you just go up here to modulation wheel, which is CC1. And now you've mod filtered out modulation wheel. Um, it's really, really cool. So we're saying emulate. There's another one that says suppress, which means off. So if you have a bass and a piano and you don't want sustain on the bass, so the piano can sustain, and then you can play bass lines without sustain. Then you can use a MIDI filter. So it's, I'm going to play this chord again, and now I can have sustain, right? So this is the notes I'm playing. Okay. So I want to practice my Hannon. <laughs> Which is cool with this because it's letting you play whatever chords you play. Right? But only five notes. But it's it's still it's still nice that it can do that, right? And root. So you could go root for some things if you went for the bass notes and stuff. You also have octaves. which is cool because it's still playing in the intervals of whatever notes you're playing. We haven't added any additional notes. That's where you get to scale steps. And what's cool, see these little dots? You can click these to get to the different parameters. So you can go to gate time. Let's do this. Let's have this have no sustain. Just a little bit. So I could say, Right? I have velocity, so I could have soft velocities. So you have all sorts of play things to play with. And just by clicking the little dots, you can see the settings. Now, there's another way to do arpeggiators. Um, if you go to step type, there's chords. So if you say chords, right? And if you say normal for some of these notes, so you can combine steps to have notes and chords depending on this. And you can go to ties and rests and other settings if you want rest and silence and all that kind of stuff. Now over here on the left, 
This is your timing playback, so now change to eighth notes. The number of steps, so if you want it to be shorter for some sort of little techno phrase. Go to velocity. Right? Now, if you want to add another part to this, just say, add another MIDI effect and add another layer. And let's have this one be reassigned to some sort of like a DX, maybe the plucked bank. And so if you go over here and you say MIDI in to number two, so that way it's listening. And let's go up here, call up a preset really quick. Let's just say like a chord pattern. So these presets over here just really quickly let you get it going in. As you can see, this is one where it's staying fixed. It's on fixed notes. And I should point out that on top of all this other fun stuff you can do from making from scratch, there's also presets up here. And with the new version that's just coming from Unify, with the latest update, you can actually click in the name and it won't crash on the PC. Um, other versions before this, it would crash, but it doesn't anymore. You can also click right here for the arrows on both PC and Mac and it won't crash. <laughs> and get to all sorts of presets. So if we wanted to, let's do this. Let's mute this layer and just play this top layer here. And we can just go through some of the patterns. As you can see, there's chords. Up a different patch. Ah, that's kind of cool, but let's have it up an octave. And then if you want to add it a kick, so let's go like this. Let's add a MIDI layer. And let's say we want to go up here to the kick. I like number two preset. And let's add another instrument layer and go to Guru Sampler and choose, there's a drum kit for Airwave right here. Um, so let's have this go to number three. And then it's just a matter of transposing. And you'll find where it transposes the right note. Pretty cool. So, and then you add from this, say you want to add a pad to this, so Guru Sampler, Battleborn. Transpose it up an octave by holding down Option. And, and then to get that modern vibe, you have to go to Unify, Dynamics, Pump House, uh, load a preset. Let's go over here to the presets and say we want to do a really cool, just regular side chain. So say you'd love that. keep going all day long. So that's how it works. It's really fun to play with. I'm, I, I, I went kind of fast at the end there. You can always go back, watch this video again, pause, step by step, do what I did to get this to happen. It's so much fun. Okay. So that is a nice, long, healthy Tuesday tips. Um, I think I covered everything I wanted to show you. It's really important to remember that the sustain pedal doesn't work on the arpeggiator unless you add a MIDI filter before it. And a lot of these presets over here on the MIDI effects, I've already done um, a MIDI filter in that preset because our layer presets can store as many MIDI effects as you want. One last thing. Say that we wanted to go over here, let's go to Instruments, Guru Sampler, 
let's go to a layer preset real quick. Let's go back to that. Um, let's just say plucky Klamath, because that's just really. Say you want to use another MIDI effect, not just the, the blue ARP. Say we can go blue ARP, empty layer, go over here. And uh, as I showed you, you can now, by, by going to this page here and setting this up on the MIDI effects page, I've added Cthulhu, right? So I'm going to go to this list. I'm going to say all my MIDI effects. And there's Cthulhu. I'm going to turn off the chords so it's just the ARP. And if you go here to the presets, to the factory, this chords one is a great place to start. Oh, I haven't connected it yet. So go over here, say MIDI in. And again, it doesn't listen to sustain. So we'll go over here. We can say add a MIDI effect built in uh, right here, MIDI filter. And this time we're going to say emulate the sustain. And you have to put it before Cthulhu. And now sustain pedal works. So open up Cthulhu. Here's your different settings, velocity. Right? So you can get into doing all the things with Cthulhu or Cream or all the other MIDI effects. Um, I could go other MIDI effects and say Cream. And here's all the different presets. So I can say. <laughs> and get that to work, you know. So that's how it works. Um, we'll see you next week with another Tuesday Tips. If you have requests. Um, for this or any other plugin, I'm happy to talk about any synthesizer you have in your arsenal. If you have a question that would be a good tip, send me an email at the pluginguru.com website. Just hit contact and uh, we'll make a video on it. Okay. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And we'll see you later.